In this video, I'm going to show you the difference between absolute and relative positioning of widgets using the place method. Here you can see I'm highlighting the usual program statements you would expect to see when you're dealing with tkinter in Python. These three program statements, well, they're going to create a label that's associated with this window that was created on this line. And you can see that I'm making the background color of each of the labels red, green and blue. And I'm associating the labels with an appropriate name, as you can see here. Now, on these three lines, you can see I'm invoking the place and I am positioning the labels according to the coordinate positions that I'm passing in here to the place method. And if we consider these X and Y coordinates, they are examples of absolute positions. They define precisely where the labels are going to appear on the window as illustrated by the graphical user interface you can see here. So this red label was placed here because of these coordinate positions. The green one was placed here because of these absolute coordinate positions. And the blue one was placed here because of these coordinate positions. Let's consider the runtime for this computer program. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to come to here and I'm going to make the window smaller. And as I do so, you can see I start to cover up the labels and I can make it much bigger. But the key thing to note is that the labels stay in exactly the same position because they're in absolute positions. And that absolute position is taken from this corner here where this is x0 and y0. I can grab hold of it here and I can move it in this direction, making it bigger. But look at the labels, they're in exactly the same position. I'm going to go to the corner here and I'm going to make the window smaller. And you can see they simply don't move from their absolute positions. In fact, I can actually carry on and I can make the window small as you can see and the labels well they're still in their absolute position because if i make the window bigger you can see they remain where they were placed when the program ran this computer program is showing an amendment to the program we've just been considering and the amendment is shown here the arguments were a moment ago x and y coordinates and now you can see they are different this for example is rel x which stands for relative x and this is rel y which stands for relative y and these are arguments that are going to be passed into the place method that's associated with this label if we consider these three program statements you can see we're dealing with each label in turn and in each case we're invoking the place method and we're passing in relative positions we're not passing in coordinate positions so whereas before what we had here were absolute positions what we now have by the setting of rel x and the setting of rel y we have relative positions for where the labels will be placed on the window Let's look at the runtime associated with this computer program. The first thing I would like you to note is that here I've set the relative position of X to 0.5 for all three of the labels. Now have a look at the labels and ask yourself, where are they along the X axis? Well, by I, I would say that they are smack bang in the middle of the X axis of the width of the window. In other words, they are 0.5 along the width of the window. Let's turn our attention to these values here where we're looking at the relative values of y. And if I look at this one first, where the relative value of y is 0.5, i.e. we're dealing with this label, which we can see from this line is green. So I'm referring to this label here. A by i, it might not look like, but it is halfway down the y-axis because we measure from this point the top of the label now this program statement is positioning the red label and we can see here that the relative y is 0.4 so if we look to the label we can see here that that position the top of the label is 0.4 down the y-axis if we go on now to look at this 
program statement, which is dealing with the blue, we can see that the relative y is 0.6. So the blue label is 0.6 down the y axis. If I grab hold of the window and drag it in this direction, take note of the labels. Can you see they're coming along with the sizing of the window? That's because they're staying relative to the width of the window, their x position. So if I make the window smaller by coming to here and dragging it back, I would say that's still halfway along the width of the window. Let's go again and keep on going and you can see it is halfway across the x-axis. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to come to here and I'm going to drag it down to make the window bigger in the Y axis and have a look at the relative positions of the labels. You can see that they are actually spreading out, but their position, this one's at point 0.4, this one's at point 0.5 and this one here is at point 0.6, the way down the Y axis if you take the whole way down to be the length of one this is 0.6 of the way down now this one here is actually a 0.5 now by eye it may not look like 0.5 it looks like it's a little bit lower but that's because you mark this point here as being halfway and of course the length of the label in the y direction is this little length here so it tends to make it look like it's not in the center but it is because the top edge of it is. And this one here, well, that point is 0.4 down the y-axis. If I come to the corner here and I drag the form to a different size, as you can see, you can see it's getting positioned relative to the size of the form in both the x and the y. And here you can see they're starting to overlap. But if I come all the way down, you can see they're spreading out again. And uh, I can move it round and you can see they're relative. So that's what we mean by relative position. Now, there's other things we need to do here when we're setting the properties associated with the relative position when we use the place method. But I will be covering them some other time. But now you should be able to see the clear difference between the absolute positioning and the relative positioning of widgets when you use the place method. Please consider subscribing to the channel and click the bell to ensure you get an update every time I upload a video. Maybe you would like to consider supporting the development of these free videos via Patreon. In addition, why not follow me on Twitter and also check out the supporting website.